So today's video is really going to be a video between Walmart and Aldi's and the difference in prices and what you could get for $50. That didn't pan out too well. Uh, before we even got in the store, uh, somebody was coming out and they told us, hey, there's nothing in there. That place is like empty. Uh, there's no can goods. There's no nothing. And we didn't even bother going to the store. My wife was with me. She was going to be doing the video shooting today and trying to help me out. Uh, so you could actually see me uh, doing the shopping and everything and talking about different products and everything. Uh, so we went to Walmart right across the street, went over to Walmart and we proceeded to go in there. We were just doing our thing. Boom. You know, no problems or anything else until we got up to the cash register and we were checking out i don't know if they were on to us you know they got enough cameras in that place say maybe they were i don't know i mean we weren't doing anything wrong i wasn't bashing walmart or anything uh as you will see here in a minute you know it's going to speed up as i'm checking out and i uh sped that up until it gets right up to the point where they come up to us and tell us that we cannot be recording or anything else Shortly after that, a manager came up to us and asked if we had any other video footage or anything on our phones. And before uh, I deleted all the stuff, I emailed the last video to myself that you're going to be seeing here in a moment. So this way here, I had proof. Um, I had my wife with me. I didn't want to cause any problems. Uh, you know, none of that kind of stuff. So just deleted everything. And we went on our merry way. This is the video footage you're about to see and uh, what took place. And it just goes to show you, I think a lot of these places are starting to crack down because they don't want people uh, really figuring out what's going on inside and everything. Um, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, uh, it is what it is and we just have to kind of live with it. But I do have a very good video for you and you all do have a chance to win something at the very end of this video so make sure you watch the whole thing so you know what's going on so you have a chance to win on the next saturday live stream so me and my wife are not in jail but that would have been a hell of a video and we're both home uh we finished off the video and stuff here at the house and here you go I'm sorry, I can't have no recording in here. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, no, guys. no worries. Hey, welcome back to Survival of the for Beginners. And as you saw, yeah, we got busted at Walmart trying to do a video and everything else. And, you know, we got busted at the checkout. We made it through the video, but we got busted when we were checking out. It is what it is. Walmart doesn't like to be recorded now, do they? But as you can see here, here's what a hundred plus dollars is. Now, what I want to tell everybody is, is I want to make sure that people are realizing the simple fact that, you know, you can do whatever you can do and you can be prepared with little to no money. I did a $10 a week challenge not too long ago and spent 40 bucks for the month and you can go back and watch that video and you can see what I got for that. This is a little bit over $100 and I have a special for you at the very end, so make sure you stick around because you could win something here, folks. All right, so as we can see, we got canned goods, all kinds of canned goods. We got some canned soups, uh, roast beef, to, uh, chicken. Uh, we got some sliced potatoes, stuff for the kids like beefaroni. You know, um, as I had talked about in some of my videos, now's a good time to start stocking up on maybe like your broths and all this different type of stuff. So we picked up, uh, we got some beef broth, chicken broth. Um, with the way things are going, you just don't know what's going to happen. We just have to be prepared. So you want to make sure you have plenty of flour, sugar, and don't forget baking powder because this way here you can do your baking. Uh, I got some Crisco here and uh, we did pick up, instead of jarred gravy, because your dried gravies will last longer. So we got a nice variety of different dried gravies. Another great thing to have, we have tuna fish that's over on the corner over there. Another great thing to have is meals that are already ready, like the Campbell's Chunky Soups. They have a wider range. They could cover anybody from your kids to the adults and everything else. But having these where you can just pull the top and you have a meal um, is priceless in an emergency situation. Now here in the center right here, we 
have some more chicken, uh, chicken broth and beef broth, breadcrumbs, mustard, ketchup, and then in the very front, those are single serve coffee. So if you really, you know, just had to heat up some hot water, you can dump those in. Yes, it's not Starbucks. It's not your favorite kind of coffee or anything like that. But in a really a bad situation, or if you're on the move, maybe if you're just traveling, if you can just heat up some hot water and have a cup, hot cup of coffee, you know, you're good to go. On over here, we have a cooked ham, some veggies, some mushrooms, uh, sardines are really good to have, uh, great, full of protein and everything else, spaghetti sauce, some corned beef hash, rice is very essential, folks. Make sure you have plenty of rice. Now, as you saw in the video, there wasn't a lot on that shelf and stuff, but I picked up a five pound bag because I have a ton of rice already put away, but I wanted to show you guys what you can get here. You know, these little bags of these little Idaho potatoes, you know, I mean, you just need some water and you put water in these and you have potatoes. They could go along with your ham, your veggies and everything else. Then, you know, we, we have more, cheese for your spaghetti and all those different types of dishes just because you're planning for an emergency situation doesn't mean that you can't enjoy some of the stuff that you have moving on down the line here we do have a couple of boxes of pasta here and we have some macaroni and cheese now this is your standard macaroni and cheese and this one here all you have to do is add hot water to it and you put the sauce pack that's in here in there and this would be great for your kids in an emergency type of situation. And then we got a thing of ramen noodles. Here's the thing with the ramen noodles, folks. All you have to do, if you don't want to use all that sodium pack that's in there, you use your own spices from your, from your cupboards, you cook up that pasta, and you add your own spices or meats or anything else. You just use the pasta. It's really cheap. And this way here, you can cover yourself. Now here's the thing, folks. This right here costs between $100 and $150. Now in the comments below, whoever gets closest to the dollar amount that this equals out to, you're gonna win something on next Saturday's live stream. And I'll go through and I'll have my receipt to prove how much it costs. And I'll pick the winner of that drawing based on whoever comes closest to the total amount this is. Now remember, it's between $100 and $150. So whoever becomes closest, comment in the section below. So I hope everybody really pays attention and the importance of preparing. This was a Walmart haul. It, it doesn't hurt to top off a few things here and there and try to make sure that, you know, you can do what you have to do and try to make sure that you and your family are prepared for any emergencies that could be coming our way in the near future. Rather, it be uh, with inflation, with them raising interest rates, with all the crazy weather and stuff that's going on, with the world as it is, we just have to be prepared. And that's what this channel is all about, is just trying to make sure that you are prepared for you and your family. So once again, don't forget to comment in the section below what you think this costs between $100 and $150. The closest person will win next Saturday night. I'll do a drawing and you'll win a special prize. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you all for everything that you do for this channel, for your likes, subscribes, sharing the videos, and getting the word out that we need to be prepared. So until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.